Local leaders saying we are almost in the clear on the Ebola crisis as dozens of people come off the quarantine list. Saul is live with an update. Yeah, and we certainly got a, a sense of relief uh, here at this news conference uh, this morning that just wrapped up just a little while ago. You've got uh, the pastor here behind us talking to uh, the media, but 43 people, here's the latest, who came in contact uh, with uh, Thomas Eric Duncan are now in the clear, and then about five others are expected to be cleared later today. And now among those are Duncan's loved ones uh, who have already been cleared, uh, his fiance, uh, her child. Now, they have been in isolation. They've been living in a gated community in Oak Cliff, and that's thanks to the Catholic uh, community, we're told. Uh, Luis Tro will be working with a philanthropist to, to, that will help fund a great deal of her expenses because, as you know, a lot of her belongings were destroyed after they went in and cleaned that apartment. Uh, where exactly she will live, that information not released this morning. She does want to, want to uh, maintain her privacy. Uh, she does want to tell her story, but we're told that in her own way, on her own time. Now, her child, as well as seven other kids who had contact with Duncan. We understand that they will be returning to school tomorrow. Five are from DISD and then we got three others from Richardson uh, schools. They have all been at home for the last 21 days and Superintendent Mike Miles wants parents and other students to know that these students do not have the virus. They are not contagious. They are fine to go back to school. Additional counselors will be on hand for these students and for the aid as well uh, because educators know that it will be uh, tough for them because just of the stigma. Her feeling for this morning was one of fear, fear of, of how she and the, the young men would be accepted, of how they would be treated, um, of, of whether they would be seen as uh, disease carriers or oddities. There's zero risk that any of those people who have been marked off the list have Ebola. They were in contact. And Mayor Mike Rollins saying that uh, today is a milestone, but uh, still they do have a lot of hurdles to jump. 120 people still being monitored. 75 of those people include those health care uh, workers. So they still have several more uh, weeks of monitoring ahead of them. So at this point, though, we understand that uh, they have not shown any symptoms, any signs of Ebola. So uh, that's obviously encouraging uh, for uh, for officials here uh, in, the, in the city and the county. The magic date, we're told, it's going to be November the 7th. That is when the monitoring period for all of these folks will come to an end. So obviously, again, they're breathing a big sigh of relief for now, but at the same time, they're also holding their breath. But for now, things uh, looking good for the city and for the county. That is the very latest here in Dallas. Saul Garza for Good Day. An interesting update indeed. Saul, thank you.